Field. Thanks for joining us for the Cattleman's Corner. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. With the problems we've had with the COVID virus, it just emphasizes how much we need the Internet to do business. And more and more business is being done in both the horse and the cattle industry and related industries over the Internet. So if you don't have a really good Internet presence and a good place to house your website or to advertise your website, go to agsearch.us. You can get it on there. be a great place for you, agsearch.us. That's agsearch.us. With this Art Handle, Handle Market in Rapid City, South Dakota, Art, you place a lot of cattle during the year. Any interest in bred females at this point in time? No, the female thing's been very quiet so far. Some of the, the feeders, uh, there's uh, some interest in, and some sales are going on now on uh, yearling cattle, basically, and video markets have been going strong. Uh, there have been a lot of cattle, a lot of yearling-type cattle moved on the video markets here lately in the last three weeks, and it just, uh, it's getting into the into the season. I don't know. It appears to me that our yearling cattle, we keep, we keep continuing to breed genetically put performance into these cattle and a lot of these cattle are just getting bigger and bigger and I mean we're seeing a lot of thousand eleven hundred pound yearling cattle coming to market right now you know five years ago if you had a 950 you had a pretty good sized steer or a thousand pounder and we have downsized some of our breeding stock but uh, we're breeding the performance in where these cattle are are just doing a whale of a job of growing and and gaining the pounds Art Handle, Handle Marketing, thanks for joining us. May God bless you. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.